The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. There's a girl. She's a star. She's got style. Steffi Star. You see her face. Around the town, she's popular. Steffi Star. <laughs> dark, dark, the show dark. is already starting out on a foot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephanie Weinstein. And I'm Meredith Keith. And we have two of our favorite guests here today. Yes. The they're wheel famous, guys. they're funny. The wheel guy, we love him. He's one of our best friends. The wheel mm-hmm. guy, Steve Stein. Woo! Good morning, afternoon. And real estate mogul, Alexa Weinstein, <laughs> Woo! who, me. you won't believe this, but she nannies for Steve's granddaughters. I didn't realize the connection. Yep. Yes. Twice a week, wow. baby. Wow, yep. in a beautiful house. So if I call yes. him Papa, it's not weird. Got it's it. not like a weird thing. It's just Got his it. Papa. Yeah. She He's Papa. says, Aww. Papa. Yeah. Yes. And Alexa said that she is wearing a sweater that Allison, Steve's daughter, gave her. Shout out to Allison. Because Allison just gave her a whole bucket of clothes. Oh, don't you love it? Love. Like that. She's so like, exciting. that's saving Shay, the environment too, you know. Like, yeah. I am to Shay, she is to me. I'm right. Amazing. So it's amazing. Right. Yeah. yeah. I love a sweater in January. Me too, it's so cozy. Oh, I it's do like too, needed. except I was schwitzing this morning. How? Oh, I mean, I'm schwitzing now. It's really hot okay. in here. I mean, <laughs> our heat is on 68, which is big in our house. <laughs> And it's Steve still just had a pulling. blank stare. <laughs> Steve is blank staring at us. Steve. Um, the, yeah. The, <laughs> what happened? You, <laughs> Steve, yeah. did you connect with Josh <laughs> Godfrey yet? I'm schwitzing all Me too. Oh, I asked him the other day. No. To give a little Not background. Yet. So Josh Godfrey of Josh of Godfrey Auto. Um, no, Meredith totally wants to be a Godfrey. One, I do. Um, also a Weinstein. Because, okay. you know, I said in the last one that I celebrate Annika, and you said no. I was rethinking this in my mind. Anyway, I think, I think I'm think i going to celebrate more this year. Okay. I don't really know what you did last year to celebrate, but that's wonderful. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> Meredith Keach, a practicing Jew. <laughs> um, anyway, Ooh, like so Josh Godfrey of Godfrey Auto, like the perfect person to win right? yeah. your gift certificate yeah. from the wheel I was guy. so excited yeah. that he won. Like, it's funny how those things work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In life. Right. And I saw him standing there but when he was putting in his 400 tickets into the into that yeah. bucket because that's that the one, one he bucket. wanted to win. The yeah. only one. Yeah. And I heard him say, I really want to win this. <laughs> oh. I'm oh, thinking see? to myself, you're in a body shop. you got people who can do this. Kind of. Yeah. But still. No, no, no. No, really. he was psyched. Yes, Wait, and you know what's weird? He what? He won... Wally's Greater Boston Motorsports last year. I remember. Oh. Isn't that yeah. weird? Well, it's not amazing. really. It's Why? Well, Wally's, I don't know. Do you know. think that's weird, Steve? Well, it's weird that two years in a row, he won something that was sponsored by a close friend of yours. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that it's like unless, perfectly appropriate. Yes. Ex- yeah. What? Uh, unless everyone who donated was a personal close friend of yours, and then that wouldn't be unique at all. Look, well, kind of. Well, uh, you know what? I like going with wow. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't, even, I can't crazy. even believe it. That's crazy. Um, and last night, Anthony was trying quickly. He parked. We went to Gourmet Garden because it was Tuesday, and he parked back in the parking lot. And I'm like, I said, you want me to walk from here to there? And then all of a sudden, a front space opened up. So he quickly backed out. And guess what? He hit my rim. No oh. way. Oh, yep. Okie dokie. Call the wheel guy. <laughs> More revenue for me. Call the wheel but guy. But isn't it so great when you get a front row parking spot? Best. I feel like it's a little gift from the parking gods. It's everything. And you're like, mm. wow. It I really is. I always get amazing it's... parking spots. Okay, Everywhere so I go. you guys, I'm dying to hear about your experience at the new restaurant in town. How do you pronounce the name? Is it Gianna? Gianna. 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 Yeah. How was it? I haven't been. Overall, very good. Atmosphere, Ten. Miami. Yes. yes. That's important. So Miami Denise. meets LA meets New York meets, you know, cool. 
In 138. Steve's on wife, Denise, kept saying, I can't believe we're in Easton on 138. I yeah. feel like we are literally in Miami. In fact, she she had to get up and take a loop. Really? She did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She likes to know what's going on. Yeah. So she got up and did the loop. Okay, yes. you walk in. And we'll and give you... We'll get, and what's your approach I think, like? I think we give you the good, the good, the, the good and the room for opportunity. <gasps> okay. Yes. Ooh. Yes. So an important piece to me <laughs> is... The host, if there is one. Oh, Meredith doesn't like a teenage host. I, right. There were only well, I there think were three teenage hosts. I think there was a few girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. But okay, I don't mind a teenage host. Well, I don't mind a teenage <laughs> host, provided that they know what hospitality is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably not their job yet. Got it. Okay. We were there night two. Yeah. So uh, all I can say is for a place to be as busy as it was, and yeah. it was packed. Yeah. Packed. yeah, Packed. People standing and waiting in the bar full, and I think they said 44 seats at the bar. Yeah, I think you're around that. Yeah. yeah. So the place was jammed, and it was a second night open. Okay. And you would expect mayhem between servers and kitchen and whatever. Not really. I mean, the food could have been hotter. We'll get to that. Okay. Okay. And our reservations were at six o'clock. So they take reservations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Anthony made reservations for four people at six o'clock. Correct. Okay. And then somebody begged to join. Someone at this table. Oh. Begged. I said. Pleaded. I said begged. no, no, no. Begged. No. Finally, she's, she's like, like, please. I was like, whatever. The, we added another person. Please, to the table. she said. And, and did now, they let you change your reservation? Well, so Anthony couldn't. He couldn't do it online. He tried calling a couple times. So when we went to Stone Forge Friday, he ran across the street and what they and said, changed it. And they said no problem. Okay. Now the other exciting thing about this whole restaurant opening. Wait a minute. Why was it important to note that you changed your reservation number? I don't really think it was. Oh, okay. So there was well, no, no they, consequence well, it was, to it. No. Oh, okay. Well, they. I think it was more about they accommodated. They accommodated. Yeah. Well, yeah. they, they okay. could have said so sorry. We yeah. they stuck a chair yeah. at the end of the table. Okay. For me, guess, guess, who our server was. She is an icon. Kim Lazarian. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I give you a hint? Yes. Her mother works at Cole Baker, Easton. I know you when we say it. Do, 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 do. Who is it? Lauren Kelly. No, Lauren Carroll. Lauren <laughs> Carroll. Kelly's daughter. No, sir. Yes. Yep. Lauren Carroll. She was yeah. amazing. She, I thought she, she was at Maribu. She's at Gianna. She was. She's at Gianna. And when I tell we you. We love Lauren. Steve, how fabulous was our server. Awesome. So she yeah. was your server. She was yep. our server. Yeah. Anything she came with a smile. Yep. She came with personality. She came with hospitality. Okay. She knew the menu. She, yep. She said, try this, try that. So we started out with a bunch of appetizers. And what did you eat? Take it away, Steve. Okay. We had five appetizers. We got to back up a little bit. Oh. Your reservation is for five at six o'clock. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. You walk into the restaurant, you're greeted by who? Some teenage girls. Mo, Larry, and Curly. The, okay. The little girls. Standing and behind a podium? Yes. It's podiums to the right, yes. Okay. And then you check in and they say, hey, hey. <laughs> and then you're in. <laughs> well, I just walked I just walked in like I own the place and I already saw them. So I'm like, I'm back there. So I and then, right so you sort of I didn't of get... even notice that part because I was so excited to just even walk into the restaurant because okay. immediately I walked in and. The vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome it's, vibe. it's vibe. Karen Howe was there. Check in, and over. then where do you yeah. go? What do you do? She said, let me take you to our table. Your table. You went right to your table because you walked in. Well, at... I, I was chatting with Karen Howe. Okay. But your right. table, you walked in at, and, let's say, five of six. Well, and Anthony and I were right. there Most first. Most of us did. Okay. Anthony and I were there first, which is unusual when you go out with the Steins. Okay. Because they're very prompt and usually a couple minutes early. Okay. If, uh, if, yeah, either on time or a couple of minutes early. Yeah. They were on time. Don't like. Late. And obviously, Lux and Weinstein was late. Okay. But that's fine because you were the add on. But yeah, it wasn't exactly. in stone you anyway. Were, it didn't yeah. really We weren't even kids. waiting for you no, anyway. No. Like, like, no one So can. you didn't have to go sit at the bar. No. Our or... table was ready. Ready. You, you couldn't. Got it. It, was it was no room. It no was room. packed. People sitting and eating we at had the bar. Heavy 44 hitters. seats. 44 seats at the bar. That's a big bar. All full. 
with people standing behind ordering oh. drinks, whether they were waiting for tables or whether they were waiting for a seat at the bar or whatever, who knows? I mean, it was it was busy. Some people were in sequence. Now, did you have to put a reservation in to sit at were the you? bar? Uh, didn't ask. I don't believe so. I don't think they take resis at the bar. Correct. Okay. Barrel and Boards does. You have to have your name on. I'm not interested a list. in going to Barrel and Boards. Just saying. It's a bit of a schlep. Yeah, it's so schleppy. But it's, it's also a big bag. bar. It has a really big bar, and people actually go to just sit at the bar. Yeah. Just yeah, saying. We're not. Hey. We're not Got jumping it. for Joy, but Barrels. All right. No. All right. Okay. Uh, there's way too many other places around here to go. Got it. Okay. So you you immediately get um, seated. Yeah. And <clears throat> where was your table in the restaurant? Were you happy with its location? Wow. You're asking great yeah. questions. These things are important. So, you know, but you're asking great I questions. I would like next time, I would love to sit at the high top next to the 100%. bar. I think yeah. that's more uh, fun. Yeah. Unless you're with a group. Like if you're with a group of six or eight, like couples or whatever or you yep. have like, like a little party like a more yep. intimate yeah. they do have a room you can rent you, I mean is it the gold a room? private I am <laughs> Christos yeah <laughs> oh. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you can that's for private mm. parties okay but in the dining room they had tables of six and eight and whatever okay and I think that that would be fun play uh, sit in the dining room if you're going with a big group if you're going with four or five yep definitely a high top in the bar totally yeah. Yeah. wait a minute if you like that action how more many, action how many do the high tops Sit. I think there four. was about four or five. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so you can pull five. up a chair. Yeah, oh, maybe someone pulled a chair. You can pull chair. up a chair yeah. like okay. we did. Yeah. Yes, mother. Yeah. Uh, Denise Stein noticed there were no booths. She did notice that. But it's only tables. We believe there's a reason behind it. Listen to this one. We think, we're not sure, but we think. So there was a, we were sitting underneath a, or up against the wall. Up about for maybe about five or six feet was wall above that from floor to ceiling, which was twenty feet high. I mean, was this massive uh, LED screen that? Shout out to Jimmy Shapiro. Shout out to Jimmy Shapiro, <laughs> Jimmy Shapiro and ABI. Yeah, audience, Jimmy audio and Shapiro sick. does it again. It was sick. He Just does it again. It. Yeah, yeah. But this massive, 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 massive. Epic. What they had, they had pictures of. Fish, like a fish tank. It was a beta fish. A beta fish. fish. A beta fish. You know but, the beta fish oh, with the colorful okay. tail. Okay. Yep. It was we really believe cool. the reason there were no booths is because, and the floors are all cement. They can move all of the furniture that's in the restaurant into that private dining room, and the whole place could be wide open for an event oh. or a or a party oh, that, or for dancing so or for a flexibility. football game. That yes. makes sense. Yeah. 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 I think that that's why. Now that's something Wicked I never smart. would have noticed. Wicked, Wicked no, smart. No, neither would I. Just, I just go in and drink my You martini. have no attention to detail like no. your mother. Okay. So you and it was a little dark where our tables were. Oh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't quite see. Uh, everybody everybody well, had their flashlights on and their phones. Not the, just at our table either. When the fish either. went away, it was just black screen. But when the fish came back on, it was all bright. It was a burst I of light. I liked the vibe. But it was Miami for the, feel. For the older people, they had to take their flashlights out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be your mother and Tony yes. and and the people next to us. Not you, not Papa. No, I mean Papa's. Down. I, can't I don't see. know. I'd have to feel the vibe. Okay, yeah. so Lauren comes over. Yeah. And did you stick with your typical drinks, or did you order off the drink menu? Typical. <sighs> typical. Now I unfortunately had to break dry January. Oh, okay. How could I go to a new restaurant and not drink? That ship has sailed. For I said mother to Anthony, I was, I'm like, this is horrible. So what did you have? He said, oh, we can drink tonight because it's a new restaurant. I said, yippee. <laughs> so then do you give up a day in February? <laughs> no. Oh. No. No, you actually make up for the time that you didn't drink yeah. in, in, yeah. in, yeah. in the, in the oh. two weeks Meanwhile, previous. Meanwhile, I've been I've drinking ever since. I've it's been never wonderful. drank so much than in January. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Really? The last yeah. has been oh, plastered yeah. for the month of it's January. It's worse than ever. <laughs> oh, well. You've been or socializing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've been heavily socialized. Okay. So what was the drink of choice? Martinis. What kind? Everybody? Always Dirty, the same. dirty. So Did all they? kettle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Always kettle one. Uh, dirty, dirty for these two. Yep. Um, Denise had a Cosmo. Okay. Uh, Tony had one. Not dirty kettle with okay. one olive. Bone dry. Oh, Bone dry. Yeah. Just one straight, blue stuffed olive. Literally olives. just yeah. straight vodka. And I was the rebel and I did, I so I did kettle with um, muddled cucumber, oh. shaken extra hard. Okay. 
with blue cheese stuffed Extra dollars. hard. Yeah. yeah, that's his. Okay. It was the pinnacle of the evening. Okay. He's so, trying not to say epic, epic for those of you. Now, who drinks heard his are last very important episode. because it sets the tone. Oh. If you're sitting with a mixologist or in front of a mixologist and they make you a drink, and or especially Did if you, you guys drink talk this, about this night at all? Nope. The same thing. Yeah, I need every detail. One issue. Yeah, but you're like one, you're one in issue. my head. Right yeah, now. you are. Steve, <laughs> take it away. She does that. She has I, like it's not even telepathy. She's, <laughs> like everything I'm about. I'm like thinking, yeah. okay, I'm gonna say this, and she asks a question. Yeah. Like like she's been led into it. Well, well these are, these the are my checkpoints. A, these are my checkpoints. She's a good interviewer. I, I, you missed your calling. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe. So I want to know about that drink, especially if you drink consistently. You would know your drink and how does it how does it match? Or let's do A through F. Steve, really, take it away. Yeah. Okay. Really simple. We walked in. Everybody looks around. What you know? Are they eating something? Are they whatever? I look over and I see a perfectly um, big martini glass, empty. But the, the glass itself, similar to the size of the glass at Gourmet Garden. Hmm. Yeah. Good size. Yeah, good, good size, size glass. So I'm thinking. Checkpoint, data point. Yes, data check, point. Good size. Data good point. size glass. Yep. Uh, so when the drinks, it took a long time to get drinks. Nobody cared. It was very busy. It's their first night. They're overwhelmed. No problem. First drinks come. They put them down on the table. And unfortunately... Mm. It was three sips. Oh. It was probably 75% filled. Got it. Oh. Okay. So not, it tasted great. They yep. modeled it perfectly. Yep. The combination, the blue cheese stuffed olives were excellent. Mm -hmm. Yep. I will tell you that the redeeming feature was I very nicely said for my next one, she, she said, do you want another round? Lauren, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Lauren said, do you want another round? I said, absolutely. But could you do me a tiny favor? She said, sure, anything. I said, you don't. I, I'm not. I don't want it for nothing. So whatever a martini is, add twenty five percent. I'd like it full, please. Mm. She said, "Absolutely no problem." I'll tell them. I said, "Just so you know, that's what everybody wants." But yeah. I'm not. I can't speak for everybody. Yeah. So I'm happy to pay for it. I don't want it for free. Yeah. She brings it back. There's no extra charge. It's full. No problem. The general manager came over. There was. A, she brought a little glass that had a half an ounce. Of, you know, with a smile on her face. Yeah. Here, I don't want you to have a short drink. I said I didn't have a short drink. Yeah. You make the drinks the way you want. Yeah. Whether you measure them or pour them by hand, right. which mm -hmm. I asked. Yeah. They pour them by hand. So it's just them getting used to the shakers and the volume and how much ice yeah. is going to melt. Yeah. But they couldn't have been nicer and more mm -hmm. accommodating. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Agree. They were like, no problem. Filled to the top. Rest yeah. of the night. Yep. And then. Yeah, the next Think 27 so. rounds, all full to the top. Yeah, yeah it was fun. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Who remembers anything after that? <laughs> so they muddled, the, you like it with muddled cucumber. Oh my God, I love it. Interesting. I'm going to have to try I it. Know, I know. It's, really re it's really refreshing. Yeah, it sounds it. And you know how the first. Now I wait, feel like you we get, should drink so that. So do you, you don't get dirty at all. No. It's just kettle one, muddled with cucumber, blue cheese olives. Yeah, and if they don't have blue cheese olives, I don't have oh, any. No garnish. Okay. I think mm. I would like to taste yours next time. I would love I would When you don't have a cold. Of course. That does sound refreshing. I, see, the the extra dirty is, it's so good, but it's, it's so salty. It's like drinking it's the ocean, the which I it love. is. And I wake up the ocean next day, one. my eyes are swollen. swollen, my nose is swollen, and my hands are swollen. My yeah. hands are always swollen. The right. Next day. For me, yeah. it's like having a salad. Right. What? Why? See. Yeah. Wait. Why? It's just vegetables. It's refreshing. Oh, the cucumber. Oh, right the right. oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Delicious. Oh, sorry. So, okay. like, so drinks down. Now you now you order appetizers. You have a couple rounds first before you order the appetizers, or did you order the appetizers and then you're waiting? No, we're drinking first. Okay. And then, and then we ordered appetizers. We knew it would take a while. The place was mayhem, and everyone came in at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like so a they staggered seat. Full test yeah. on their first night. So they got a, you know they have 150, 175 people in their restaurant, whatever the number is, and everybody's ordering at the same time. So the kid, yeah. no, there's no kitchen on the planet. Yep. Right. So we ordered five appetizers. Okay, which ones? We like a heavy appetizers. Mm. And and to be fair, we wanted to taste as much. Yeah, as right. possible. did. Yeah. I said, Steve, order one of everything on the menu. Yeah. I said, okay. I'm yeah. fine with it. <laughs> yeah. We did my favorite, the bang bang shrimp. Okay. And it Loved. came with white rice. Yeah. And not like bang bang shrimp that you get at um, Fridays. Fridays. It or, was or, delicious. Right. Awesome. Flavor was there. It was delicious. Appearance. Yep. Beautiful. I like the rice. Little vibe. ramekin upside down with, you know, with, to form the rice. And the rice was compact. It was good. And it was like, 
It was deli- the whole thing with deli- the sauce. How many, how many, big, yeah. big shrimp, medium shrimp? Small shrimp. Yep. Um, yeah, not, not like tiny. No, but yep. not your medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah, small to medium shrimp. Yeah. Enough that the five of us would have eaten more if it was there, but it didn't have to. And this sauce that was kind of like tzatziki-ish or coconut tzatziki. It was tzatziki like a yogurty. Or, yeah, yogurty. It was delicious. It was. Delish. So aces. Just, yep. just great. If it were hotter, it would have been better. Beggars can't be choosers yep. on your first night. Yep. You know what I mean? It was great. Then Number we had two. the chicken wings. Um, were they teriyaki? What was the, the wings was... like? You're gonna eat? Y- yes. Yeah. Okay. Hand. Uh, yeah. Well, on the bone. But they was like a what I think like it? a so, like a soy glaze. And then they had uh, a, like the a drizzle, drizzle on of... top. Was <laughs> there very scallions? Delicious. Scallions on top. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Delicious. So th- a, a lot of the stuff has Asian inspiration. Okay. Yes, Here we go. There was a big fight last night. So a we can talk fight about over it. This. Mm. We can talk about the word fusion down the road here. Mm-hmm. But let's continue on. Okay. okay. So they were really good. They Deli- could, again could have been hot. if they were hotter, they would yeah. have been better. Temperature wise. Yes. Yeah. But delicious. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Calamari. More like a buffalo calamari. It was supposed to be a something calamari. Fine. So not it was Rhode Island hot. style. Yes, it did have okay. it did have fried cherry peppers in it. Yeah, and it I didn't love. have any of the. It did it. Uh, it, it, it had a it, few. It, it oh, had, it did. It I still like Amelia's I, the best. The um, calamari. It did. I, Tony doesn't really eat it, so we yeah. don't order it. All right. Um, and I got the tentacles. Why am I so they're away? not known for their calamari. No. So far. No. Okay, got it. Chicken parm. The meatballs. Chicken, chicken parm, parm meatballs. meatballs. Chicken okay. parm meatballs. Now everybody is saying that they're an Italian restaurant. Okay. So is. I don't like think ha- it's chicken really parm, a it, chicken parm appetizer and a meatball. No, so it was chicken, chicken parm, parm meatballs. meatballs. So take it, take it, ground chicken. Yep. Make a meatball oh, out of it. Okay. Put the cheese and sauce on it. Oh, huh. chicken parm meatball. Good. Okay. Dense. So, dense. I liked sauce. Delicious. The red sauce, insane. So Steve enjoys a hard matzo ball. Okay. Whereas other people enjoy soft. the soft. soft. Okay. So Steve enjoyed. The, the dense, dense chicken ball. parm meatball. Denise hated it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, not for me. Get this off my plate. Yeah, Please eat it. Denise was okay. not vibing not with that meatball. I, it doesn't sound like something that I... Yeah, that you would order? No. I just think it's really heavy for an appetizer. Right. I just didn't... I wouldn't order it, but I, I, yeah. I don't order a meatball. Yeah, no. right. Okay. I feel bad for the cow. I feel like there's one Not more. as badly for the chicken. We had the... Um, um, wait, what... The wings. See, what are we missing? The calamari... And the Did we? Ju- I think we might have just done the no. floor. No, no. See, thank you. <coughs> I have a picture. I think. Oh, sushi. Oh yeah. Yes. Sushi. Interesting. Sushi. We got a sushi, sushi roll. This was and I don't even remember photo what the of the sushi appetizers. Roll was. Do you? Oh. I have, um, yeah, spicy something. <laughs> Spi- uh, well, kimchi, spicy. Ki- Something like that. It was like good. a spicy kimchi it roll was good. with tuna okay. and whatever. But to be honest, there's They're no a... place like Gourmet Garden. Yeah, They I were mean, huge. Big. I just don't think I would go roll. there to get sushi. And it was 22 bucks. It wasn't like it was for free. Yeah. Um, They're not in the sushi business. The proportions of the rice to the 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 um, rest of filling. the- Fillings. Yeah. yeah. And the fish and whatever. Yeah. It, too much rice. Okay. Can they change it in three seconds? Yes. Yeah. Will, will they get feedback from everyone that had it? Probably. Yeah. So it wasn't bad. Yeah. It just wasn't, wow. We got it. It's not a place I would. But we were happy with our. It's good you tried right. it. We wanted right? to try it. Thrilled to try yeah. it. And they have one other roll, which I don't even remember what it was. I don't know. But the wings and bang bang shrimp for me, delicious. I honestly. My agree. Right. And, and I just don't think that was the place for me to order sushi. Absolutely not. No, yeah. I mean, because you go to Gourmet Garden, you're so used to right. that. And... Well, wait a minute. So if, not to change the subject, but I'll broach it for a second. If you ever go to Quincy and you have dinner at Alba and they're a steakhouse in an Italian restaurant yeah. owned by an um, 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 Albanian guy, Leo, who's a sweetheart, and their food's they out of this world, their sushi is some of the best sushi I've no ever way. had in my I've whole life. I've been to Alba. And I've never what? had sushi there. Their rolls are amazing, and they have uh, um, some sort of a sushi sandwich. 
anyway, we can go back. Okay, like, wait, interesting. Like the, sa- like the salmon sandwich at Takara? No, something that's entirely different. That's in a league of its own. <sighs> That's I still league. haven't tried that. Oh my god! We ha- I have a weekend. Just saying. I just had it. Going. I had it Thursday night. It's, oh, I need it. What? Uh, what kind of? Will you text me exactly what to what? order? How is the salmon sandwich made? They take two pieces of seaweed, and yep. they put it in batter, and they deep fry it. Oh, insane. Then they take this c- mixture of cute little small cubed salmon, small cubed avocado, and something else that they put in a little radish or something, who knows, and they make a little salad with all of that, and then they put it on top of the, in between two pieces of that fried. Um, Interesting. It's really, it's not on the menu, and it's award-winning. Delicious. Sweet. Can Angus make that? Know, you just, can Angie make it? Absolutely. Can, Mary, we, all Mary, I need maybe to do you is, you should go to Takara. All, all right. I, on a date. All you need to do okay. is, I'll pay. Yeah. Can we go That's for lunch? how they yes. get all okay. the other specials. Your tell- special and Denise's special. I right. know, but now we have to but come another up with Tony's special. Yeah, le- legit, let's put it on them. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. And I have to go to um, rice. <laughs> Norwood. <laughs> okay. Yes, Tassos. Yeah. <laughs> Meredith hasn't been to Tassos either. <sighs> Nobody ever invites me on. Do you want to come team. tonight? It's Cousin yeah. Julie's birthday. We'll be there Cousin Juju's. I got to drive. I'm like, yeah, we'll be there for tonight. Do they have alcohol at Tassos? They have Greek beer and they have wine. And you're allowed to bring your own? No. No, you'll no. get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just didn't know if that was a drinking Sometimes you, you can bring your own, but no. I don't mm. think they are. She likes, Christina, cousin Christina likes you to drink the Feeks. She fills it up to the, the top. Feek, My Anthony glass. drinks the Feeks beer when he goes. Beer. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, moving on. Yep. Back to. Uh, yes. Okay. Back to Jan. So uh, appetizers are done. How's the timing on when does she have you order your entree she says whenever you want i think it ready? came pretty fast yeah she said are you ready to it, order it came i remember the the meals came fast i think and were the plates and appetizer plates and everything cleared and did you get new silverware everything was cleared we, they uh silverware we said we were picking on something so it stayed i think it was the sushi roll yes everything else was gone and we never touched it after that that stayed and then we asked them to clear it um, did not get new silverware, same silverware. Okay. Which I don't like. I want new silverware. I'm sorry if that's bratty, but I just... It's not a... Listen, it's a, I want new silverware. I, I could think care you're, less. You're entitled to it. I could care less also. It's my opinion. But you're entitled to it, and they would have given it to you if you yeah. asked for it. Yeah. Right. I actually just think ask. they might have. I no, think I just would've. put my silverware with my old plate, and I think I just asked for new mm-hmm. Excuse me. Can you grab me another fork and knife? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Of course. Very yeah. yeah. easy. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Okay. What did you order for appetizers? We no. You mean meals. What's that? You mean meals. You mean meals. You said Sorry. appetizers. Sorry. Entrees. I, I know what everybody has. I Ale- am, just want to preface, I am a chicken parm snob. It's okay. my favorite food. I am a snob. It was absolutely delicious. Oh. And I'm still thinking about and it. And Alexa, what, why what do you good? like chicken parm because so much? Because of the Sopranos. And what and made it good? Real. What was good for you about the chicken parm? Like, what are it your was, The what are your flavor was there. Pieces? There was some crispy pieces. This red sauce was delicious. You, Compare oh. the red sauce to La Familia. Oof. I mean, Almost. La Familia is my all-time favorite chicken parm ever. Right, th- right what now. What does the consistency this- of the chicken have to be like for you? I, don't, crispy I honestly, yet juicy. Yes, I, always I don't ex- like it too, too, crispy. too thick because then it's just too much. And you know what I like that was different? It was almost like a they. It was like a Parmesan crisp. It was almost like a cracker that it's, was. It was on That's top what it was, of yeah. the right. You know, it was regular chicken parm with like a ZD type, so and it then was it was pounded. A, yep, not always pounded at every restaurant. It, Correct. It, it was wasn't. Pound- a, it was pounded. It, it wasn't, wasn't a big th- thick. I don't like huge thick. Yeah. With that Parmesan crusted on the side, so if you wanted it, it was a little crunch. It was delicious. It was and the cheese, <laughs> cheese delicious. Everything perfect mix. Yes. Yep. On that, a bed of pasta. Yep. Penne or noodles. Well, it was like the thick ziti, right? Not ziti, but what no, no, rigatoni. Thick rigatoni, almost. Yeah. What's that name for it? It was like a thick. Th- yeah. It's a short. It's a short. Short big and thick. Tube. Oh, it's a yeah. short, stumpy tube of pasta. Cook, it was cook, the yes. rice. That was my all-time favorite. There's a name to it. Delicious. I would get that takeout every night. Mm. It was really good. Yes. What did you have, Steve? I ordered a pizza for everybody to share. That oh, had a pizza. A pi- so they have a brick oven. Oh, okay. So the dough was great. The crust was great. What kind of pizza? 
It had mushrooms, pesto, oh. um, arugula, uh, gor- gorgonzola crumble, and one other thing I can't remember. And it was yummy. I think I didn't I want it for piece. dinner. I think you did. You think you ate a piece? Yeah. I think, I think you I nibbled. Think it, yeah. I think, I think you asked for a nibble. Yeah, I gave you a small one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you ate it, but I gave you I think you took a bite and gave it to Tony. No, I think I ate it. Oh, that's even better. Um, really delicious, really fresh, and I would try any of their pizzas. Anything, uh, you can't ruin a pizza in a brick oven, right? So, it, really good. It was a win. It was a win. Yep. That was it. You just got a pizza. That's what, I got that's that to share because I was going to have a bite of Tony's and oh, whatever, okay. whatever. Yeah. Um, Denise got uh, salmon on a salad. Mm, okay. Salad was overdressed. Salmon was salty. Not her favorite. Okay. Mother, you got the same, no? I, and and by and did you get Stephanie a can with... tell about her own and Tony's winner of the night. Yeah, I was full, and I just ordered a plain Caesar salad with nothing on it. Yeah. Boring. Were you satisfied with? I mean. I thought it was delicious. Good. I liked the way the lettuce was chopped because I was just, I just went to another restaurant where they had a grilled Caesar salad. Love. And so, no, I didn't. Oh my God, I love it. And so you get the, you get the warm. Elsie's table? Yeah. You get the warm and I don't like warm lettuce. So this was cold. So I like this, yes. And I liked the way it was chopped and I liked the cheese. Everything had the right amount of everything. Perfect. So I had some of that. I I took it home. I was full from the appetizers. Yeah. How much can I eat? Right. Anthony's dish. Oh, the was the winner of the night. Oh. Truffle bucatini pasta. Spaghetti. Oh. Oh. Denise yes. said she felt like she was back in Italy. Yep. It was insane. I took one bite insane. and I said, whoa. Epic. So. He doesn't want to say epic. Did it have mushrooms in it as well or just noodles with the truffles? Uh, I, think, I, have a I think it was oils. literally just. With a creamy truffle sauce. The creamy the sauce. Truffle. Creamy truffle With sauce. a little bit of a garnish. Yeah, not too creamy. And the bucatini has all the flavor inside the noodles as well because it's like a Twizzler. Here's the photo of the pasta. Got it. No, bucatini is um. round spaghetti tubes that have a hole in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Twizzler. Except not so Twizzler. Good. Wait, yeah. what uh, pictures uh, do what? I have down here? Well, I don't mother, know, I can't see. Adam, I was going to say, Mother, be careful. <laughs> God only knows. God only knows. Hmm. Oh. Desserts. Hmm. Oh, my, the blueberry. What was Ooh. it? It was almost, and I'm not really a dessert fan. It was like a, almost like a pancake with a cake with what cream. It was a delicious. A pancake meets a coffee cake meets a blueberry uh, muffin. It was delicious. I have with absolutely a, no recollection of the dessert. With uh, a, ow. with a. Mother was drinking. Caramel drizzle over the top. Don't remember. And whipped cream or creme fraiche, whatever they serve. Sounds delicious. It was delicious, um, and then the what other, the other, one? the other one they brought for us was a bread, a bread pudding, which came with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream, wow. and it was also delicious, but nowhere near. The, the blueberry, blueberry was I can't even explain it. And I wouldn't have ordered the blueberry thing out but of nowhere. But they brought it. Somebody over. brought, yeah, they brought it to us because we knew we were their friend or something, or we complained about something. I don't remember what it was. We love. <laughs> it was almost like a blueberry birthday cake pancake. It was delicious. Really? I really don't yes. remember that. Well, you'll have to get it again. Huh. Yeah. I would go eat that right now. Dinner yeah. drinks? Yeah. Or just stay consistent? We it's, went to, we finished, and then we went to the bar. Um, and there was rum at that point? Yes. It was kind of at that point where... It was like, eight, I want to say like 8, 15, 8, 30 maybe. Well, these people maybe turned nine. around and they said, you're really lucky because we're leaving. Oh, Maybe it was like perfect. 9 o'clock. And I asked the guy what he had for dinner and he had a burger and said it was really good. Oh. So that's always a very good sign because right. if you go there and the food's fair, but a couple of appetizers are great and somebody has a great burger, right? Done. who doesn't go sit at the bar and have drinks and an appetizer and a burger? Well, yeah. funny you should say that because one time, one year during the show, Meredith and I decided we were going to go around to different restaurants and try out all the burgers and see who had the best burger. Yeah. What'd you come up with? It, two in, we decided it wasn't good for our waistline. <laughs> <laughs> so where are the two that you did? We had to do. When was it Stone Forge? Dismissed that project. Really? I don't remember where the I other forget, one was. Yeah, we were full. It was like, we like, like, can't go off of burgers all the time. <laughs> I will tell you. Steve? I, so, Steve probably knows where the best one is. He knows everything. Yeah. Go ahead, tell us. 
So I will say there, there are many good burgers around here. Okay. And they're not fancy burgers. They're just good burgers. Right. Like waterfall, really good burger. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you guys love Waterfall. Waterfall is in Camp Center, Canton. Meredith. You should go there. Really good burger. Mayor, that's, my, that's your old owner. stomping grounds yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, so Jerry Jerry owns it. He's there every night. It's We go like on a Wednesday night. He's the Irish guy, right? Correct. With the yes. white hair? Correct. Yeah. 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 Always oh, a grumpy face, but he's a sweetheart of a guy. Huh. He's not grumpy. That's just... What do they call mm, it? Delish. Resting, R- resting. Oh, resting bitch RBF. face. Yeah. A cremangin, but Dilly he's not really. That. Yeah, <laughs> Dilly. <laughs> Little <laughs> Dilly has that his too. Huh. <laughs> um, I will tell you, I had an amazing burger at La Familia. Interesting. Uh, I, their chicken parm, I dream about Wait it. a minute. The last time we went, you got a burger? No. Last time we went, I got my pasta with the chick, with the, with the crispy chicken cutlet on top with the, oh. with the, um, uh, pink vodka sauce, oh, love, love vodka and they sauce. and their eggplant stack yep. at La. I know oh. I, this. Their eggplant stack is probably one yeah. of, one of my top five favorite things to eat every single week. And that's you go in the Eastern one or the, the Eastern one. Eastern. Yeah. East. I think yep. I've been to the Taunton one's the same. We went once. I'm sure, right? but it's yeah. it's it's better Superior. than the eggplant parm because it's crispier. Yeah, and it's it's stacked, so it's a piece of eggplant. Will be cheese, piece of eggplant, piece of cheese. Mm. So they fry the eggplant individually. They don't fry it all together. Right. And their red sauce is out of this world, and so is their vodka sauce. Mm. At La Familia. Oh, La Familia and their win. bread. Wait. A winner. No, I, I love go. their sourdough. Sorry. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yes, me too. Did you say the best burgers at La Familia? I said it was amazing. Oh wow! In Waterfall, right? And Waterfall. Oh, Waterfall. Waterfall and La That's Familia. your favorite burger, Waterfall. A lot of me was just as good, but you know okay. what? For, for for a close, for for the for five minutes from home, right? Waterfall, waterfall, good burger, yeah. great fries, and there's easy parking there. Easy parking, yep. yeah. And I mean, good menu. Yeah, their, their ribs are good, their salads are good. Their I don't. Really... I haven't been for a while. I haven't been. I'll have to was... add that back on the record. I, like I know. I like no. You got to be in in the mood for a pub and not yeah. seeing anybody you know. Oh yeah. That's okay though. You like to kibitz, mother. Oh, there are, you can chat with anybody you want. There are plenty of people there to chat I with. I remember you just they don't, don't have them. a huge bar. Am I right? They have. It's just like a little square, right? Yeah. It's a it's a U. Yeah. Yeah. And there's probably. <clears throat> six, it's almost 14, like a McGuire's 17. bar, kind of like dark and moody. Oh, it's twice the size of McGuire's bar though. No, I know, but it's kind of oh, like that the vibe. Pub-y. Yes. The pub. Yeah. yeah. Now we popped into Elsie's table, which is Ray Renee Roberts' right. new restaurant. Right. With, um, her builder McNeese. Did you go in? Well, we went on a Sunday after our open house. So our open house in Denham was two to three. So we went in after that because Anthony had to get the lobster mac and cheese, um, and um, I knew like five or six people. Shocker. Well, how was the food? How was the service? She knew five or six people. Five or six people. <laughs> That's all that matters, Mary. That's all that matters. I saw, Hello. My, I saw my client's parents who now want to buy, who want me to find them a house here and they want down the Cape. And then I saw these other people. And then I saw my friend. And then I saw this other woman who always tells me every time she looks at me, you look so young. <laughs> oh, you were eating that up, huh? And I say, oh. So Tony says, she's looking for you to say back how young she looks. Oh. You're probably like, thank you. Did you eat? I ate. I had Caesar. My Caesar salad. Oh. That was the gr- that's the grilled Caesar. That was the grilled Caesar. I re- okay. Right, because only because I decided I really don't like grilled s- lettuce. I thought the salmon really? was good. Anthony loved, what? I love a grilled Caesar. Anthony See, loved like his lobster and mac and cheese. He hmm? loved his I lobster love mac and cheese. And Me too, but I love And Caesar. we got Brussels sprouts to start. Shredded? No, they weren't Fried. shredded. Okay. They were very, very good. Very similar very similar to the ones at Corfinio, which are the best in the world. Oh, those Brussels really? sprouts at Corfinio. Uh, those are, yeah. Are so the, the, so really is there the only lentil pasta? Is the sauce. Oh, yeah, you oh, love yeah. that. So that you don't get the sauce at Elsie's table that you get with with the Brussels sprouts, but they're almost identical. They're yummy. Okay. Now, obviously, this podcast, this episode is only for locals. Yeah. Because. Yeah, but we should have. I mean, I know we have a big listening audience from other parts of the world in other continents. And we do. 
Yeah. Well, the restaurants we've been talking about are local, right. but people go. I mean, it's fun to hear, for at least for me, this analysis of a brand new restaurant. Right. Gianna's in Easton. It's a big to do. We uh, Easton actually has an incredible amount, amount of restaurants. We have fabulous fabulous restaurants. Restaurants. We have so Excellent. many. We are really so lucky. Yeah. Good yeah. food. And, you know, you can go from one to the next. You can have a variety. Food. And their special martini was very good, also. Where? At, at uh, where we went, Gianna. Oh, yeah. Do you not remember that either? No. <laughs> I mean, well, we, I were suggest... drinking, we were drinking kettle sodas. So. And it was. Oh, yeah. Tony, and I were, Tony and I were drinking. Steve and Tony martinis. had espresso martinis. Oh, yeah. Denise they... was sticking with wine. Yeah. And. The, uh, didn't they give her an IV needle at one point for the, for the wine? Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, why, I mean, why bother refilling the glass? Just have it go. Yeah, yeah. definitely. There you go. Done. Hundred percent. Yeah, done. Worth it. So, how is pricing? I didn't comment on it, which means it was fine. Okay, in line with what you'd pay. In elsewhere. line with what you pay elsewhere, yeah. and, and they left a wonderful tip. Lauren, as they said, Lauren, well. who she, Lauren. she reached yeah. out to tell us she was so thankful for the tip. And her mother also reached out. Oh. Yeah, we, 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 we yes. Okay. It was it was an over tipping night. Yeah. Well well deserved. Yeah. Sweet Lauren. How many nights a week is she working there? I think she told me three. Yeah. Okay. Three or four. But and their lunch. I dinner? said we should not yet. Not oh, just four dinner. Just dinner. They said once they're they want to get this done. Yeah. And then once they're like acclimated, they're gonna do brunch. They're gonna do lunch. Oh. So they'll be open early. And who owns it? Bunch of people, I think. Yes. The, a, the main owner is Tony. Don't know his last I name. I think it's Tony Dorenzo. That That's would, what I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And if it's not something to do with the Dorenzo family. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sweetheart of a guy. Um, took the time to come over and say, you know me from Adam. Came over. How you doing? How was dinner? How, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just, we chatted it up and I met one of the investors there and they were having a cocktail or a glass of wine and they couldn't have been nicer and they were saying hi to everybody. So, oh, good. Yeah. And we good. a lot of investors. We can't wait to go back. No doubt. We're adding yeah. it to our repertoire of restaurants, which is huge for us. Right. Because I feel like we're kind of snobby. I don't know that I would, I'd say discriminating in, in terms of your taste and wants and likes. And I, I think that that's appropriate given that you go out to dinner every night. Correct. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Fair. I mean, I say to my wife all the time, why would we go someplace to get a burger if you love the burger here? Right, why you're right. You, why why yeah. would you go? Right. Why would you go get chicken parm at another place if you can get it at Tudo Bene? Right. Which is Tudo you know, Bene. Yeah. You know, crazy good. And service to me matters. Time as right. much matters. as dinner. We had this of conversation course. last time. Yeah, because you're right. paying for that. You're, right. You have a good meal and a bad experience. You're not going back. Correct. You have a t terrible meal, but a great experience. Yep. You'll, You'll try back. it again. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So true. They could yeah. not have been good nicer, point. all of everybody. That's good. Yeah. The manager well, came over. Yeah. She was awesome. Her. She's everybody. so cool. You want to be successful. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's oh, she good. was rubbing my head. And yeah. I wasn't even like, I, yeah, she I was, was rubbing I was, head. I was critiquing. <laughs> I wasn't complaining. Yeah. Do a lot of people rub your head? I said, well, only if I allow them to. She, it's she very soft and it's. Like you allow it's always to very do it? clean and I mean I wouldn't rub anyone's head. Yeah, but people go up to pregnant women and, and rub, rub their, their belly. I feel like that's kind of weird. No one did I that to me, thank God. No, if I would. Oh, you would somebody you did would that to beat me. someone else. <laughs> Be scared. What about the waitress at Friendly's? I sat down and I was pregnant with Alexa and I sat down and I went to Friendly's. I'm like, I'll have a um, tuna melt with french fries and a chocolate fribble. She goes, "Honey, you do not need that chocolate fribble. <laughs> if that wow. was nowadays, yeah. I said, oh. That makes me so sad. And you said, and, that's what you wanted. And, but did, did you acquiesce? Did you get it? I don't remember. I hope you did. I blocked it out. Uh, uh, would have been very simple. You're absolutely right. I don't need it, but you're going to bring it to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Um, All right. So. You don't it, need it. No, are we, like we don't. Like, are we done with the restaurant talk? Yeah, can I want to hear about? Can we talk about Seth? Oh, poor Seth. Poor Seth. Tee this up. Oh. Well, Stephanie called me today. Wait, what about Steve Stein's kitchen? Oh, 
<gasps> what about his beautiful kitchen remodel? You're doing a reno. Yeah, it. let's go to that. I feel like we need to because you're going to be doing a reno. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we should touch on the reno, which I have not seen it because I <laughs> would like to be surprised because his wife, Denise, is probably the coolest decorator oh. ever. Okay. And so she Thank helped um, Allison, Ale uh, Steve's where, daughter, who Alexa where I, for baby, on where the you got It is sickening. I mean, Alexa shows me pictures. I've never seen anything like it. So she knows and her stuff. She knows her and stuff. And then even and their house. Steve and Denise's sickening. house is probably the coolest house I've been in. Age of a house and style. It's a it's you, a ranch with a ranch finished with basement. A full, full, yeah. With a pool in the backyard. <clears throat> but How you, old? Built in 76. You Got walk it. in and you say, wow. Between her lighting choices, her paint choices, her cool furniture choices, Everything her accessories. Everything is just the coolest I've ever seen. I just. Ever. It's a talent. It yeah. is. She's so talented. Some people think that they can decorate. I right. can't. I okay. put things together. When you now, someone who really yeah. knows how to do so it. So they were maybe playing around here and there with moving, but I told Denise and I tell her all the time, you guys never have to move because now you're in the perfect house. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah, especially I mean, on one floor. There's no stairs. Yeah. Steve has this whole area downstairs if he wants to go, but they have this sick backyard with the pool. They're on the end of a cul-de-sac. Yeah. Done. Yeah. So anyway, Steve and Denise decided they were going to do a kitchen Got renovation. Got it. Steve? Ooh, um. <clears throat> okay. Not four to five weeks as we <laughs> as we anticipated. Um, and this is no. just a kitchen, so Meredith, just keep this so, in mind. Small kitchen, yeah, tw twenty by twelve. Got it. Not your. Yeah. Okay. We gutted it to the studs, ceiling and floor. So subfloor came up, ceiling came down, walls came down. Start over, which was great because there were seven or five different layers of flooring. Like linoleum and wood, wood linoleum, another linoleum, something like. Was that from you guys or oh the God, previous no. owner? Previous owner. And and so you were I pulling all in. of that up. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a including bitch. the subfloor. So Got the it. only thing that was left were the rafters. Yep. In the basement. Yep. Because the basement in that area, the basement's not finished. That's storage. Got it. The rest of the basement's finished. Anyway, so we we ripped the whole thing out and we went for it and we set a budget, which you should always try and do, but. No. Yeah. Um, and I can't tell you, everybody always told me, oh, plan 20% over whatever your budget. And that could be right. I stopped doing math because I just did. <laughs> yeah. It got to a point where it was, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yep. So here we are. Yeah. Um, everything was overthought, but, that, but that's how we do it, especially Denise. <clears throat> she has impeccable taste. She cares about texture and finish and the way things feel and how they look from every angle not just one angle and so she's so cool it was a lot <laughs> lo we love her i wonder um, if she'll come on the podcast of course she would so what how what stage are you at in the so we had a seven week delay okay we are now at a very good place excuse Got me it. seven week delay after you ripped out the kitchen yes why what happened um somebody not a family member, um, mismeasured for cabinets on several occasions. Got it. And even when they sent the truck to New Jersey to pick up the cabinets five weeks later, they came back still with wrong cabinets. Oh, okay. Holy. Okay. So mm. that was a that was a five week delay. Yeah. Bye. Um, I will say that the workmanship. Yep. Of all the crews that are either subcontractors or employees of the of the gentleman we use or we're using, amazing. Mm. Courteous, talented, um, you're willing to listen, gives you, gave you suggestions, you know, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't have been, I've been, I've been taking care of them myself just as an extra thank you because I see how important the work is to them. Got it. That's how good they are. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we made some changes along the way, not too many, um, which was a good thing. Like what? What did we change? Yeah, so like we, what? So the, initially the floor was going to be a wood floor. 
and then it wasn't. So we did these. Oh, 30, yeah. Did you tile? Wait, 30, how big are they? 30 inch tiles. Oh, so you, did, you went tiles. from wood to tile. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And the mistake we made was we should have um, heated the floor well before they put the tile down. So instead, we're still going to do it, but they have to do it. Fortunately, it's open underneath, but you do it from under the joists and it, the, the heat radiates up. So it's going to get done. Doing it. Meredith, you should think about that. You have a New England home. Mm. Yeah. Well, the tile is cold this time of year. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. And it, then you wind up having mats down and because it is it is really cold. Yeah. So you wear socks. I yeah. like a slipper. I wear a house shoe. Yeah, I, I do too. I wear but socks. Mimi would call it. I wear an Ugg slipper. All, I think the radiant all heat times. is a wise choice. I love that. Yeah. So it's. I didn't know you were doing that. Not full radiant heat with packs, but a radiant, like one of the mats that go under. So. Uh, yes, but it's designed to go in between the joists underneath the floor. Yeah. You got to have a two inch air pocket between it and the subfloor. Got it. So it heats that up and that heat radiates up. Yeah, that'll be nice. It'll be great. Beautiful. Yeah. It'll be great. So that was, a, that was a change. Okay. Um, so the tile, the heat. What are some of the fun features that you're excited about? So a, a couple. Um, first of all, everybody says do not buy marble. Do mm. not use marble as a countertop. Porous. Porous, stains, mm. etching, mm. blah, blah, blah. So Denise, her whole life, married before me, and we've been married 37 years, always wanted a marble kitchen. Oh. So not only did we do a marble kitchen with the island and the countertops, backsplash as well, and there, everything is one piece. Oh, so okay. that it's not, there's no tiles. It's inch and a quarter thick right. wow. marble, and it all matches, and yeah. lovely. This morning, as I was leaving, so were the guys. There's a company called Boston Stone Restoration, mm. and they apply a fairly expensive product that they sand and they apply and they cure with these special lights and blah, 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 blah. However, guaranteed not to etch, guaranteed not to stain, it has a warranty that goes with it. Um, so cool. I'm not I'm not now apprehensive about having a marble countertop oh. that I'm gonna have to fix all the time. Got it. Because it's not gonna do that. Yeah. So I think that's really cool because people walk in, oh my God, you did marble? Well, yeah, but we also... What's the price point marble versus quartz? Uh, marble's more, even cheap. Marble, but quartz can be expensive as well. But quartz doesn't fluctuate as much as marble does. You can buy marble for forty dollars a foot, and you can buy marble for four hundred dollars a foot. Wow! So it really depends. And quartz, and don't ask. And uh, it, dying to know what he paid. Quartz. <laughs> qu <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> did you do? You, so you did all new appliances too? Uh, kitchen we bought last year. Okay. Um, and so we have a new, um, we used to have a microwave over the stove. We do not. Now it's a drawer, which is really cool. I oh, love right, that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Uh, new stove and, and, uh, oven. Um. Hood. Brand new you hood. cool hood. We have I that cool saw, hood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, island? Tiny, but yes. Small, a small kitchen. So, small island. Yeah. So it's like. Like a sitting island or a prep, prep. Prep, or you, or we did an eight and eight and a half inch overhang on each end, so you can tuck a stool under there, and you okay. can sit there, and we yeah. can sit across from each other. Oh, cute! But they also they opened up the uh, door kitchen. into the yeah into the, door the, dining, into the dining room. Area. Yeah, yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, we opened up the the wall so that it, not that it's a galley kitchen, it's not, but we had a thirty inch, you know, or thirty two inch door opening like a regular door opening, yeah. and now it's a foot wider or something. Nice. So it's a, a nice big opening yeah. with no door, no nothing. Yeah, so it brings the dining room into the kitchen. And no more popcorn ceiling. And Denise, did, did, we did a bunch of recess lights with these really cool, I don't want to say it because I don't want Stephanie to to ruin it, but some other lighting in the kitchen. Mm. Um, that's really cool. Didn't Denise I can't, she, I can't, I can't wait to see. Didn't she show you a picture last no. night? No. Okay. When when is it due to be completed? So yeah, okay. So nobody will give you that answer. However, yeah. based on what's left to do, yeah. It sounds to me like we got a couple of weeks left before like totally done. Yeah. But I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe a little bit before that we can 
they'll come and clean and do whatever, and there'll be a punch list that they'll come and take care of that isn't going to affect anything, and we can actually move into it. Got it. Um, does this mean you're not going to go out for dinner every night? Well, gonna... Why does one thing have anything to do with the other? Right. I mean, you're not really going to use you be the kitchen, are you? Well, why would we do that? Yeah. It's just for luck. It's just, yeah. Where did you go looking for your appliances? Um, so I am a research fiend. So I re first I research everything. And then I decided that we, even if we're going to cook, we're going to cook three nights a week. We're still going to go out four nights a week. So I don't need a wolf stove for 10,000 bucks. I don't need a built-in Thermador refrigerator for $12,000. I, I don't need a Viking. But they're that, cute. Oh. My client every, has that. Every, has everything we got was great. Yeah, right. But you don't, yeah. So I bought, I bought an um, LG Studio, really cool stove, five burner, that's got a built-in um, convection oven as well as an air fryer built in, and it's blue inside. Ooh. It's really cool. Does anyone really use the convection? Where oven? did you Where did you go? Yes, um, they do. <laughs> yes, homemade the pot. Where's that? Who? Home oh, Depot. Homemade Depot. Oh, oh, I'm like, who? Nice. Yeah, Home Depot. Home, Home yeah. Depot. I happened to be there for something else. I, I bought it 15 months ago before we decided to do the kitchen. Got it. Was walking through Home Depot, saw it, saw a big, you know, red slash through the price. Yeah. I'm like, why is that? And I went Perfect. over and looked and it, all everything was packaged and ready to go. I'm like, all right, I'll take that. I, yeah. put, I put it in my van while I was there. Got and it. I took it home. Yeah. Got it. And it sat in my garage for 15 months. Perfect. Um, I ordered the sharp um, microwave drawer, yep. which is the one that everybody touts even over like Thermador and yep. Miele and all that stuff. And it's not, not, it wasn't expensive. I mean, it's not a $300 microwave, but yeah. it's not ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I bought it on line from Best Buy. Oh, perfect. Yep, got delivered. Um, dispose all and all that stuff is new and most of it you know as much as I could I got offline what do you have for um, a fridge did you say dispose all it's against disposal? the law well it looks like a disposal it's in the town of wherever I live so you're not <laughs> supposed to have that with your septic That's system what I was um, wondering so we only bought a disposal we're not installing it that's what I thought yeah. okay. well you can also be very careful with it and just only put vegetables in there Oh, yeah, I stuff throw that's compostable, yeah. Everything down there. Everything. You're oh. not, well, you're on sewer. Who cares? I'm in Boston. You're on sewer. Who cares? I mean, you should. Samsung. Why? I throw everything down there. Your dad also blamed you two for your septic failing. Yes, after yeah. 22, you owe us $22,000. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? Now I'm livid. You'll be fine. Anyway, Samsung this is so, what fridge. color are the cabinets? Nice. Uh, the cabinets are um, two minutes, everyone. Two minutes. Aren't they like an off white? Yeah, but there's a name. Eggshell? No. I say it every day. And now that you ask me, Cream? I can't tell you. Should we go down the alphabet to start with an A? Dove. Oh, dove. dove. <laughs> <laughs> they I think dove. I helped. They're dove, and the, yeah, they're dove, and the marble is white. Oh. What color? It's going to be. What color are the handles before we go? Chrome. Oh. Okay. Along with the We're gonna have faucet, to I can't wait to see that. Uh, so that's uh, you know what? That's Hurry my up. favorite. We're out of time. I know we're out of time. That's my favorite thing that we got. That the was faucet. Your faucet. There it wait, is. did you do a farmer sink? No, we did a black granite sink. Love, Shut black. love. Oh, no, it's sick. Well, we're gonna have to show pictures. We can show pictures. Yeah, we'll show pictures when yeah. it's done. Well, Steve Stein, thank you so much. I know this was kind of last minute for you. This was fabulous. I, I have I, listen. I I love this. I love to talk about food and people. I love to answer questions, and you guys are all fun. So it's not like this is painful or anything. Oh. Meredith Meredith just had to do her turn like this. I right? feel like <laughs> I know she can't. She cricked her neck. Well, thank you so much. I could I could Alexa. legit talk for another hour. Yeah, she yeah. could. I need coffee. I could. I need more coffee. Everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Steve Stein. Thanks for having me. What about me? Oh yeah. Thanks, Alexa. You're great. Hello. We didn't get okay, to talk I... about our shopping. No. Maybe we'll next do, time. No, we'll do that next one. I'm right. gonna. I'm gonna have okay. my own show. Thanks for joining.